My name is Luanne Wise. I'm a marketing consultant. I've been in marketing for over 20 years and running my own consultancy business for 10. I'm just about to celebrate my 10th business birthday in September 2021. I feel like I'm very lucky because I've been able to work with some amazing people, some amazing organisations, and that I have a great mix of my work as well. Um, it could be a, an audit, it could be a specific project, a specific programme that I'm working on for maybe a month or a few months at a time. And I'm also, um, I teach and I train as well. I started to kind of share my knowledge and my experiences to the point where I run public courses, mainly online now, but previously, you know, face to face. And I do that for organisations from LinkedIn Learning on behalf of Facebook and Instagram, on behalf of a number of professional bodies at university business schools, and also um, teach in-house as well when marketers, sales teams want to bring me in-house to talk to them about social media and get them all on board and, and working efficiently too. I think the 10 years in one hand, it feels like it's flown by. On another hand, it feels like it is 10 years. I think the key thing for me when I reflect on 10 years is that all of my business, all of it has come from referrals and networking, from people in my network, from speaking at events, attending events, meeting people. Sometimes they would get in touch with me the next day, the next week, or even to the point recently, like eight, nine years later as well. So I think if I was to give any advice or you know reflect on what's worked for me, it has been networking people, conversations and staying in touch. I think surviving and, and thriving, you know, 10 years, you know, a friend said to me is not insignificant to, to have been busy. If I reflect over 10 years, I've had some wonderful opportunities to work with organisations that are large, um, from Panasonic and Royal Mail to University of Cambridge and many other universities, to actually really being able to make a difference to small, local, well-established, starting to grow businesses as well that might not be so known, but, um, you know, are doing great things as well. Yeah. And I've also had opportunities, you know, working with LinkedIn. I've been able to go to California um, twice to work with them. I've been to conferences in New York. Um, I've had clients working in Paris, Sicily, talks in Lithuania, um, Dublin. So really have had lots of opportunities when I did sit back and have a think about what's happened. And, and every day is different and you don't know what's going to come along, but I think it's about staying open to the opportunities and just seeing where they can take you. I think Ipsy has some excellent resources on the website. It's, it's the first point that I suggest people go to when they talk to me about, oh, I want to set up, what do I do? This is the website you need to go to because of the guides, the information, the resources. I've enjoyed all the events that I've been to, whether they've been online or face to face and just that opportunity to speak with other freelancers. And, you know, if, if I've been speaking about my story, that they've shared theirs or people, you know, everyone's on a different place in their, their freelancing, whether they're thinking about it, whether it's a side hustle, whether they've been doing it for a number of years. And I think just to be able to kind of share those stories and speak to each other about it is really, really valuable. Also just the weekly emails and the social media posts that are almost a reminder of what we should be thinking about. You know, you're constantly on it and reminding us of those things that we need to be thinking about. So, so it's in our, in our heads. And I think there was quite a shift early on in my you know, working for myself where I kind of had to go, actually, I'm running a business. I'm not just kind of doing work, but under a different, you know, kind of contract or relationship. I am actually running a business. And I think that's really important for people to know and understand and therefore all the content around accounting, IR35, you know, the running the business side of things. I think that's where freelancers need the most help. We often, we know our jobs. We know we can yeah. do that. That's why we can go freelance. It's the, it's all the other bits around it that the support is needed. I would say the biggest value or around it's a benefits and, and services is you know it's got to be the last 18 months and how you know everything changed the world changed and we needed information about 
what support was available, what support wasn't available. And, you know, many organisations did step up, many didn't in terms of professional bodies. But I remember actually getting in touch with you at the time and saying, you know, you guys really are doing um, everything you can for us and keeping us involved and, and lobbying and, you know, sharing that information in webinars as well. So I think that's what's most valuable. Yeah, absolutely. I'd recommend it. You know, as I said, whenever anyone talks to me about wanting to set up their business, this is the, the go to website I share with them. Um, if I see posts in Facebook groups, I'm always dropping the link in if people are asking where to go and where to start. And that's not just because I'm an, an ambassador it's because, you know, it's a genuinely useful resource and people need information at different stages. And, and I think you have everything in one place rather than having to go to lots of different resources and, and lots of different blogs. You know, it is really you know, a useful guide for everything that people need.